Hi, this is a series of videos designed to chronicle the construction of our new kitchen project. Um, I have divided the project into two phases, the first phase being this one, the second phase being the other half of the kitchen. Uh, the reason for that is that I simply don't have a shop big enough to build an entire kitchen at once, so I have to build half of the cabinets, install them, and install the other half. Let me take you through what I've done so far. The project actually began a couple of years ago with the construction of this small island for the center of our kitchen. It's constructed of solid cherry, has two doors on it, one set of shelves, a set of drawers which we use for cutlery. It is raised panel construction and the top is made of plywood covered with tiles. As you can see, all four sides are constructed of raised panel cherry, and we have a towel rack on the back. The cabinet has two casters on the bottom and two feet, allowing it to be moved around the kitchen easily. The bottom has this decorative skirt on it, and a bit of a bead detail on the corner. All of the cabinets are constructed of three-quarter inch maple veneer plywood using dados, rabbits, and screws with glue. The face frames, doors, and drawer fronts are constructed of three-quarter inch kiln-dried cherry. The cabinet interiors are finished with three coats of water-based polyurethane, and all outer surfaces are sealed, stained twice, and finished in three coats of oil-based polyurethane applied with a brush. The lower left-hand cabinet features one pull-up drawer with plum ocean drawer slides. One door and one pull-out caddy for cutting boards and baking sheets. The right-hand cabinet features another pull-out drawer, another door, and two sliding pull-out shelves for pots and pans. The upper cabinets are standard upper type kitchen cabinets with adjustable uh, shelves, a microwave vent, the upper cabinets have a decorative crown molding featuring a dental molding along the bottom. The crown molding is made on the table saw. We've also incorporated the use of under cabinet lighting using xenon strips. I've pre-cut the panels for this project into oversized components, and now I'll begin cutting them to exact dimensions on the table saw. For trimming panels larger than the cutting capacity of the table saw, about 25 inches, I use a tool guide and a circular saw. A wooden jig piece helps with the setup. Some adhesive tape, such as packing tape, placed along the cut line will help to produce a cleaner cut. Now we'll make the cut using our circular saw. Don't forget your ear protection.
To cut the panels to length, we use the cross-cutting slit. And to check for square, we take our tape measure, measure diagonally from corner to corner. The dimensions are the same, and it's square. You can also use this little tool, which goes on to the end of the tape measure. And use it for the same purpose. Having trimmed the panels to size, I can now begin forming rabbits. To do this, I use my stacked dado cutter in the table saw with an auxiliary fence clamped to the rip fence. I use a piece of scrap to test the adjustment of my blade. I take a piece of the plywood that I'm using and I want the dado to be exactly the same width as the thickness of that plywood, which it is. I also want the depth of the dado to be one half the thickness of the plywood. The measurement indicates that it's slightly shallower than I want, so I'll adjust it. Now we'll check our measurement again. Still just slightly off, so we'll do it one more time. And that appears to be just right. At this point I like to do a little dry fitting just to verify that uh, everything has been cut properly and that the dimensions correspond to the dimensions on the drawing that I've made. My drawing indicates that my overall height should be 30 and 3 quarters of an inch, and it is. My overall width should be 16 and 1 half inches, and it is. I also like to make sure that the hardware that I've chosen for the cabinets fit at this point. Um, this is a slide out garbage and recycling tray. Fits very nicely. And in the final design, the face frames on this particular cabinet will come flush with the inside edges of the cabinet itself. <laughs> At this point I'd like to say that um, if you have any suggestions, comments, or constructive criticisms that you'd like to make, I welcome them. I'd like to hear them. Uh, but I have to make it known that I am not a professional, I don't do this for a living, either the woodworking part or the movie making part. Thank you.